and WinOS, Microsoft Dev's Linux distro. What if I told you a Microsoft developer quietly built their own Linux distro and it looks, sounds, and even behaves a little like Windows? That's Anduin OS, an Ubuntu-based project that aims to make the move from Windows to Linux feel less like a leap and more like a gentle step. Today I installed it, poked under the hood, and ran it through real-world use so you don't have to. Let's see whether this newcomer is a genuine bridge for Windows refugees or just a polished facsimile with rough edges. What Anduin OS is and who made it? Anduin OS is a lightweight distribution built on Ubuntu and presented with a Windows 11-inspired interface and workflow. The project's repository and documentation make clear it's aimed at easing the transition for users and developers coming from a Windows background, while keeping things open source under a GPL license. The distro's public backstory reveals the lead maintainer as Anduin Shu, a software engineer who has worked at Microsoft and launched the project primarily as a personal, non-commercial effort. First impressions, install and look. Unpacking the ISO and booting it felt familiar right away. The installer is straightforward, the download image is compact, the site lists a roughly 2 gig ISO, and the desktop greets you with a centeredish taskbar, pinned apps, and a launcher that will look instantly recognizable to Windows users. The desktop is a customized GNOME build with visual tweaks designed to mimic Windows's comfort cues, subtle widgets in the panel, quick settings, and a focus on discoverability. The result is deliberately comforting. People who dread the command line or unfamiliar layouts will likely feel at home faster than they would on a stock GNOME or more radical distro. What's different under the hood? Although the UI is the headline, Anduin OS keeps familiar Linux plumbing beneath. Apt is the default package manager out of the box, while Snap and Flatpak support are not pre-installed, a conscious choice to avoid some packaging formats by default. The distro ships with a curated set of apps and a small set of verified installers in its docs to make installing developer tools simple. The team emphasizes privacy and claims no telemetry at all, a selling point for users worried about data collection. There are two release branches, LTS for stability and standard for bleeding edge tinkers, which signals a desire to accommodate both conservative and experimental users. Daily driver testing, performance and compatibility. In everyday tasks, browsing, streaming video, code editing, Anduin OS behaves like an efficient Ubuntu derivative. Memory and CPU usage are in the moderate range. It's not a micro distro for extremely low end machines, but it's lean enough to run well on typical laptops. Software compatibility is solid for mainstream apps available on Linux. Development tools install cleanly via APT and the documented verified apps process. Where you may hit friction is with niche applications tied to Snap or proprietary packaging ecosystems that expect canonical Snap tooling. Those require extra setup. For most users who work in browsers, editors, and containerized tooling, Anduin OS performs as a practical daily driver. Polish versus substance. What truly sets it apart? The real differentiator is the project's focus on familiarity rather than radical innovation. Anduin OS packages a Windows-friendly UX on top of Ubuntu's reliability, plus handpicked conveniences in the installer and initial configuration that lower the barrier to entry. The advantage isn't a unique technical breakthrough, so much as the product of thoughtful defaults aimed at comfort. Small UI niceties, a compact ISO, and pre-configured workflows that anticipate what a Windows user will look for first. If you want radical customizability or an ultralight minimalism, this may not be your distro. But if you want something that behaves like Windows familiarity plus Linux freedom, it does that job well. Community reception and the maintainer's intentions. Reaction around forums, news sites, and social platforms has been mixed but engaged. Many praise the approachable UX and the honest personal origin story. Some critics worry about cloning a commercial OS's look and whether that helps the ecosystem long term. The maintainer's own posts frame Anduin OS as a personal, non-commercial project built for fun and practice, not a corporate pivot. That transparency has calmed some concerns and reinforced that this is an independent effort rather than an official Microsoft initiative. Expect the community to drive the distro's direction, bug reports, user themes, and third-party packaging are already shaping follow-up releases security updates and long-term viability. Because it's Ubuntu-based, Anduin OS inherits a large body of security updates and package availability, and the project provides its own repository and versioning strategy, um, LTS versus standard. That gives it a credible maintenance path as long as maintainers and contributors stay active. 
right now the project scale is small and like all small distros, long-term viability depends on community adoption and volunteer bandwidth. If you depend on enterprise-grade support, stick with Ubuntu or other well-backed distros. If you're an enthusiast or a curious switcher, Anduin OS is worth experimenting with and reporting issues to help it mature. Final verdict? Who should try it? Anduin OS is best for people who want a gentler step off windows without abandoning familiar tool chains. Developers who prefer APT, everyday users who miss quick access widgets, and anyone curious about a conservative Linux experience with familiar visuals. It's not the right choice for minimal resource machines or users who want the cleanest possible upstream GNOME experience, nor is it aimed at replacing enterprise distributions where long-term official support matters more than polish. If your goal is to try Linux with the lowest possible friction, Anduin OS is an excellent, well-documented option to test in a VM or on spare hardware. Ending thought, what this means for the Linux landscape. Whether Anduin OS becomes a long-standing distro or a short, insightful experiment, it shows a continuing trend. The Linux ecosystem keeps making room for user experience experiments that target specific audiences. A project by a Microsoft employed engineer, or formerly employed per recent updates, that openly states its non-commercial intent and focuses on making Windows users comfortable is an interesting cultural signpost. It may not upend Linux, but it could help more people cross the threshold into open source. If you're curious, give it a spin, but do so with the same healthy skepticism you'd bring to any new distro. Back up your data, test in a VM, and join the community if you want it to thrive.